In the last video, we saw how the UI updates to reflect the change in the data property value. But sometimes we might not want the data to change once it has been rendered. So to allow a one-time only rendering, Vue.js provides the vOnce directive. For example, your application or your website name. We know for a fact the website will always be called Code Evolution. It is most likely never going to change. So by applying the vOnce directive to this scenario gives us two benefits. The first one is that Vue.js will stop listening to changes for this data property. Listening to changes always takes a toll on the performance and by preventing that, we will be slightly improving the performance of our application. The second benefit is ensuring that our UI will not display incorrect information. It might so happen that another developer working on the same code might unknowingly end up changing the data property value which will update the UI. By using v1's directive, we prevent the UI update even when there is a data update, thus avoiding any confusion to the user. So let's take a look at an example and understand how the v1's directive works in Vue.js. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And over here, I'm going to have four new bindings. So I'm going to create a div tag as a parent. So div. And within this div tag, four h1 tags. That's one, two, three, and four. Now for the first h1 tag, we're going to use the mustache syntax to bind the app name. For the second heading, we are going to use the vText directive and then bind the app name. For the third heading, we are going to use the vOnce directive and we are going to use the mustache syntax again to bind the app name. For the fourth one, we are going to use vText to bind the app name. And we are also going to use the vOnce directive. So let's save this and refresh our browser. So we should have four code evolution heading tags. Now let's update the value of app name in the console and see what happens. So vm dot app name is equal to my app. So if you take a look, the first two headings reflect the change, whereas the bottom two headings because of the v1's directive do not get updated. So that is the functioning of the v1's directive. It binds the data only once. Also, what you need to know is that the v1's directive applies to all the children of the HTML element it is attached to. For example, now if I add the v1's directive to this parent div tag, so v1's, even though the first two headings don't have the v1's directive, they will not react to the change in the data property value. So let's go back to our browser, refresh this. And now if I try to change app name to my app, I'm going to press enter. You can see that none of the headings reflect this updated value. So keep in mind the v1's directive binds the data to the HTML element as well as all its children only once.